These renders show what the IM2 mission is expected to look like through animation. We asked the mission team how closely these animations are to reality. Hi, my name is Sean Stewart. I'm the Flight Dynamics Lead for Intuitive Machines. I joined in 2013. Okay. Right button here. So when we encounter the moon, we enter a 100 kilometer circular orbit um, and we loiter there for you know, a couple of days while we pre prepare the system for landing. And that was an engine firing that, that basically begins our deorbit insertion. And we insert into an elliptical orbit where we drop the, the parallel down to about 10 kilometers altitude. That aligns us up for powered descent to our target landing site. So on the moon, I mean, we basically have to bring everything with us to, to be able to navigate, uh, determine our position and velocity relative to the moon. And so we use terrain relative navigation techniques to um, determine where we are precisely. Uh, we're trying to hit a 50 meter spot on the lunar surface. There's no GPS at the moon yet. We are working on that. Uh, but basically we use an optical camera to look at uh, patterns of craters and we match those to a database and it, it allows us to know kind of as we're flying you know we look at the the direction of travel in our images to give us a velocity vector as well as matching those craters to know exactly what part of the lunar terrain we're flying over you know, as, we're, as we're flying Okay, so during the, the braking burn, we, we're basically decelerating from orbital velocity for about 12 minutes. The maximum acceleration to, to, to slow down from 1,700 meters per second to around 10 meters per second. Um, and that's the, the braking segment. Um, at the end of that, we're targeting 400 meters above the surface. And so, and what you're seeing now is after we complete that, that braking burn to where we're you know, near our target landing site, um, you know, relatively close to the, the target, 400 meters above the surface, then we be begin to pitch up until we're, we're you know, vertical. And at that point, the thruster, we have to throttle back to minimum thrust to where we can you know, match our lunar weight and maintain constant altitude while we look for a place to land. So we have, we have a, a navigation pod that's aft um, that you know, previously was looking down. And as we pitch forward, there's another navigation pod that's looking forward. Um, and so that forward navigation pod, you know, is, is, takes a picture of our target landing zone, uh, multiple pictures, and uses those to, to make an estimate of the slope and roughness and look for lighting and designate a safe spot to land. We call that hazard detection and avoidance. And then at that point, um, the HDA system will, will pick a target landing site and provide those coordinates to guidance, and we'll, we'll begin to divert to land at that specific site and begin sort of navigation relative to that target. And from that point, it's about 90 seconds from when we, we get to pitch up and we do the hazard detection avoidance to the final approach, and we're targeting 30 meters above that site to begin the vertical descent.
touchdown. Look good. Yeah, yeah, it looks awesome. So yeah, we're, we're basically descending at a meter per second from uh, the top of vertical descent at 30 meters. And then you know, we, we're just sort of descending until we contact the lunar surface, which prevents us from, from going down. At that point, that kind of informs guidance to throttle back and shut off the engine.